All right. Well, welcome Ashley Ellen Boss to the Good Medicine Confluence Roundtable. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Well, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do as an herbalist? Sure. I'm a, mini, uh, a Minneapolis-based herbalist, so I live in Minnesota, and um, I've been a clinical herbalist for about 15 years. I've worked on farms and been gardening, um, and I think kind of my my main work these days has been teaching. So mm -hmm. I teach online herbal apprenticeships. I lead women's gardening circles here in my home garden, and um, I teach yoga and um yeah. And I teach herbs to kids, which has been really fun. I just started doing that in the last year, teaching kids about botany and um, getting them, uh, yeah, getting them comfortable with getting to know some of the common plant names in the area. And that's through, uh, I want to say Sky House Herbs. Is that Sky correct? House Herbs? Yep. Awesome. Um, so as a new Midwesterner, uh, what would you say the herb community is like in the Minneapolis area? Well, we moved here in the middle of COVID, so I'm still getting to know them. But so far, it's been wonderful. I think there's just a lot of people who are interested in herbs. Um, I, I know there's a, a number of herbalists who were kind of spread out through the Twin Cities area. So I'm hoping here in the next year to get out. I have emails and feelers out to different people in the community. And so I'm slowly just starting to set up tea dates and herb walks and meetings with the local folks. Awesome. Well, let's hear about some more of the classes you're going to be teaching at the Good Medicine Confluence. What classes are, are you going to be teaching and what are they all about? The first class I'm going to be teaching is called The Magic and Medicine of American Vervain. Um, one of my favorite plants of all time is Verbena hostata or blue vervain. It's been a lifesaver for me with all sorts of conditions. And I had kind of a magical encounter with it in Michigan, which actually brought me to move back. It was like one of the pivotal experiences that brought me to move from the East Coast back to the Midwest, which is where I'm from. I'm from Minnesota originally. And um, yeah, so I'm going to teach about the historical uses of blue vervain, some of the things that I've noticed that it's been really helpful with in clients and students, um, and then the science, like how does it work? What does it contain? And I'll be bringing some different uh types of tinctures that I've made so people can sample it in different types of alcohol and as a tea, which is, that is a bold experience, but uh, I, I love it yeah. as a tea. <laughs> super bitter. Super, super bitter. Um, another class I'm going to be teaching is called Mystic Plant Partnering Through Guided Meditation, a Plant Walk and Art. And I did this at the Herbal Confluence or the Good Medicine Confluence last year. And basically we sit and we go into a meditative state. We take drop doses of herbs. We do some journaling um, and then do some art and kind of just get sort of the, the more creative part of our mind to connect to the spirit of that plant. Um, and we do that with a few different plants. Then we'll go into the woods and just sort of see what plant speaks to us. So it's not mm. the traditional herb walk like here's this plant, here's this plant, here's how you use it, but more like what plant's calling to you? And then students are going to sit down and I have some guided questions that they'll ask the plant just to see if they can start to open up a dialogue. Nice. So, so you got, so those are the two classes you're teaching them? Those are the two I'm teaching them. My husband and I are teaching a class together. My That's husband, cool. Adam Ellen Boss. Yeah, he's an astrologer with Nightlight Astrology. So we're going to be doing sampling the herbs of the stars, where mm. we're going to combine and look at the planets and plants and uh, the correlations between the different planets and different herbs and how you can use them personally based on your sun, moon, and rising sign. Um, so that, that should be a really fun class, too, that we're excited to teach together. Have you ever taught with your husband in person before? Yeah. You know, when we owned our yoga studio in Maryland, we used to teach um, plant spirit or um, uh, yeah, what, what do we call it? Planet and plant classes and workshops. We would go to local bookstores and teach them. And yeah, so we've, we've been teaching together for about 10 years, but it's been a little while. It's been, it's been a few beats. So this will be the first time we've been teaching together. Um, I want to say maybe in like four years. So that's, I'm pretty excited for that. Can you plug your husband's uh, YouTube channel? Because I want to say last I checked, there was like over 100,000 subscribers, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Or am I making, exaggerating that? That's a little <laughs> higher. I think he okay. might be at like 60,000, but wow, he's, you know, it's, he's, he's got some people, which is cool. Um, So it's Nightlight Astrology. And so you can follow him on YouTube. Um, That's where most of his content, he does daily astrological content. So pretty much like 300 days of the year, 
Plus he um, puts out content on what's going on astrologically and then monthly horoscope. So you can check that out too. Wow. I thought Herb Rally put out a lot of videos. That's impressive <laughs> daily. <laughs> yeah. um, awesome. Well, so you've been to the confluence. You went last year. How would you describe the experience? Heavenly. I mean, it is, <laughs> it's wonderful. I think, you know, the, the mountain air of Colorado is just medicinal in itself. And then mm. just to walk into a place where everyone, you know, the herbalist twinkle, like the twinkle in the eye of herbal people totally. in the woods, right? Like yeah. you walk in and it's like twinkle city and, you know, everyone is mm. excited to see other plant people and see one another. And um, I met so many amazing people um, everyone's, you know, looking out for each other. I love that about the herbal community. Um, they have vendors so you can sample and see, you know, people making spagyrics. It's, it's really, it's fun. I brought my two daughters, they were five and seven and they just, I mean, it blew their mind. So I'm excited to bring them again and yeah, just sort of be, be with herbal people again. What was the childcare like there or so activities or Last year was a little bit challenging because my husband got altitude sickness. So we were going up and down the mountain like several times in a day. Um, so we didn't get a chance. You know, there were a lot of herbal circles where they would have um, kids like reading books, like there'd be an, an adult reading books and doing some activities. But I know that this year they're planning on doing a lot more organized kids activities. So I'm probably not the best person to answer that, unfortunately. That's fair. Yeah, I went to the one that was in Durango, which I know they're back in Durango this year. I, I can't recall what the altitude is like, but I imagine it's pretty high as well. I'm pulling this from the memory banks, but I want to say I heard Rosemary Gladstar once say, if you dose up on a bunch of Rishi uh, before you have to head to al altitude, it's like good for altitude sickness. I'm not sure how, how effective that is or not, but um, uh, sweet. Well, are there any plant allies that you're currently really infatuated with? Um, I've been really into black cohosh, you know, it's interesting, um, you know, when, when you and I were talking about ancestral medicine on my podcast, um, black cohosh is it's, it's black snake root. And I just, I feel like whenever I want to go one level deeper and, and dig a little deeper into what's happening, what I'm feeling, um, I'll take some black cohosh and it just drops me really deep into, I think, um, a state of, of knowing, and I can access a lot more information. So I've been playing with that plant for the last maybe six months. And that's been, it's been a great ally. So maybe there's a Ashley Ellen boss, black cohosh, uh, class coming soon at some point. Hmm, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'd love to teach on that. Yes. <laughs> love it. Well, um, a couple more questions. Uh, what do you love most about being an herbalist? Hmm. I like knowing the names of the plants. Like, I just, I feel like mm. I get, I have all these friends. Like I just, every time I walk outside, I get to say hi, you know, even if I don't know, cause I'm like new to Minnesota, but I get to go outside and I know so many people like plant people cause they're, <laughs> yeah. you know, they're right there. And I, and so I think for me, just l walking around in the world, feeling like I've got friends and allies and medicines everywhere I go. And even in other countries, you know, I know enough botany to be like, you know, oh, I know what family you're in. I have a sense of what you might be able to do. And that for me is just, is a, is a real comfort. That is such a good point. Yeah. I learned all the plants, not all the plants, a bunch of the plants in Oregon. And then coming out to the Midwest, I'm like, Hey, I know you, <laughs> or at least I know your relative, you know, yes. same, same plant family. So yeah, that's such a fabulous answer. I love it. Um, awesome. Well, where do the listeners learn more about you and your work? Sure. Folks can go to my website, skyhouseherbs.com, and you can find out more information about my herbal apprenticeship, which I am hosting. Um, it will launch in April, but you can take it at your own pace. So if you nice. don't join in April, um, you can always join at any time. Um, also, my YouTube channel, Sky House Herbs, I do weekly content on all sorts of topics, um, Herb of the Month. I have people like Mason on and uh, also um, just talk, uh, you know, one of the subjects I really enjoy talking about is addiction and mm. um, recovery. So I will be... Um, yeah, I have topics and classes on that too on my channel. Um, but I think, yeah, those are the two places where I seem to kind of hang out the most. Awesome. And definitely hang out with Ashley in person at the Good Medicine Confluence. You get to see the herb twinkle that she was talking about. And all, all three of your classes sound amazing. So uh, rad. You. Well, and you're going to bring the kids again this year? Or? Yes. Yep. Awesome. So kids will be in tow. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And if, you know, 
please come. It will blow your mind. It is an amazing <laughs> confluence. And, you know, everyone, you'll get greeted by so many smiling faces. It's amazing. Including Wolf, who you mentioned earlier. Wolf. Oh, and, he's the best. He's just my, one too. of my favorite humans. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was inter interviewed on your show as well. So I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the podcast show notes and whatnot. So, well, thanks so much for joining us on the uh, Good Medicine Confluence Roundtable, Ashley. Oh, thank you, Mason. And thank you for your work promoting it and promoting so many herbalists in the field. I really appreciate that. My pleasure. All right.